Hey everybody, today we're doing this uh, really cool thing on Pop Lock. We're going to be showing you what this new thing is and what it does, what it doesn't do, what it does really well. The owner of the uh, company sent it to me and said, hey, do a little test for me. Show me a video on you, you checking it out. And so I'm not a mechanic, so I brought in a mechanic, the mechanic, the guy that does everything for my house and everybody I know. So. This is the man that I wanted to check it out. This is Sneakers. Say hi, Sneakers. How's it going? All right. He didn't say hi, Sneakers. I thought he would. So here we go with that. All right, so welcome to the show here. Today we're checking out Pop Lock by SBV. This Pop Lock uh, is really an interesting little uh, equation kind of put into the mechanics world. And you're not gonna believe what it is and what it does. It is, tell us, Tell us what this is, Sneakers. Well, basically what it does is it gets rid of your torque wrench, whether you're using quarter inch, three eighths, half inch. It's an actual torque socket, which you can use in inch, pound, inch pounds, foot pounds, reverse torque, pretty much anything from your small hometown garage to your fleet management, you know, maintaining yeah. an entire fleet of equipment. Okay. All in one little box. All in one little box. Yep. So that's what I think surprised me whenever I got it was how small it was. Yeah. Did that surprise you? It very much so. I, I was really uh, questioning it, you know, due to the fact of being a mechanic, we spend high dollars on calibrated equipment. I've run multiple tests on very high end name torque wrenches in comparison to this. And we'll get to that really... in a minute. We'll get to that in just a second. Okay. We don't want to give it away. <laughs> so. This little thing that uh, fits literally in your pocket, you can see fits in my pocket, uh, is does all the things you just talked about. I'll put a graphic up right here of all the things it does. But we're gonna, we're gonna get into it a little bit more. So tell me about some of the things that uh, this will do that you're not used to regular torque wrenches doing. So on this specific torque socket, Depending on the job that you're doing, you're using multiple torque wrenches within inch pounds, foot pounds, newton meters, whatever you may need at that time. So this particular torque socket, you have 10 presets. So you can go from foot pounds to inch pounds to newton meters and so on. And say, I'm working on this bike here. You know, you're talking, you know, 30 foot pounds here. Okay, the studs here are 15 to 20 inch pounds. You know, my brake levers are around 25 to 27 foot pounds. I can preset all that in this device and with a click of a button, just go through settings one through 10. Instead of having to preset each individual torque, take it off, preset it again, take it off. With your standard torque wrench, you have to set that torque every time you change. And sometimes you have to get different torque wrenches. Exactly. You know, uh, your standard torque wrench is a foot pound torque wrench, uh, inch pound torque wrench, newton meters, you know, and you have to change every single time. This is a push of a button. Have you ever seen a preset on a torque wrench? I mean, it, I don't know if they exist. I, don't I haven't know. come across one that you can preset in 10 different settings, um, which depending on, like I said, the job that you're doing, that is a key tool. Yeah, so this from. this might be one setting, right? And Correct. then down here, you're working on this as well? Yes, you might go from 30 foot pounds to uh, 102 inch pounds. Okay. So now you need two separate tools, two separate sockets, two of each, and you have to go back and forth between the two when this is just a push of a button. Yeah. So you were able to, uh, during your full-time job as a mechanic, yeah. you were able to go through Name some of the type of things that you worked on. So one of the things I did with this is um, Mercedes diesels. Fuel lines all have to be torqued down, injectors all have to be torqued down, um, intakes and so on, flywheels, whatever you may need. On that one specific job, torquing down the fuel lines, you need special sockets. You need to have them torqued, calibrated correctly, the fuel lines, otherwise they crack a leak. I could go from torque and injectors down to fuel lines down to the valve covers, intakes, whatever I needed without having to go back and forth to my toolbox. Wow. Okay. That's that's pretty cool, right? It it was it was big and the other mechanics I work with actually tried this 
Um, they were a little wary because you know we're used to spending high dollars on torque wrenches. Nothing of this size. No. You're dealing with big torque wrenches, yeah. and they absolutely loved it. And this is in a fleet sense that we're working. Yeah, we don't want to give anything away, but he works for a large. I work for a large distribution fleet. company. Yes. There you go. Large distribution company. You see them all the time. They're on the sides of billboards. They're on the sides of everything. And he works on those types of vehicles mm -hmm. that have to run every day, yes. no matter what. Yes, they got to be on the road. Is this something you would put in your toolbox? Without a doubt. Um, I'm hoping this one's going to be mine. This is something that I could use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I can throw it in my tray, throw it in my pocket, depending on the job that I'm doing, and it's easily accessible and it's small and it works. Okay, so right here what we're going to do is check the torque spec on the wheels. On this particular vehicle you're talking 100 foot-pounds. You do the preset, set it up for 100 foot-pounds. You can use your three-quarter inch extended ratchet with an adapter and as you can hear once we get close it's going to start beeping. As soon as we hit 100 you get a solid beep. You don't have to go and get different torque wrenches. You don't see that one there was a little low. So we'll get that set down to 100 foot pounds. So depending on you know your average Joe that works on bikes like me, you want to make sure your brake levers are tight. You want to torque down your wheels. You know for a biker, someone that rides avidly, we always check over your bikes. You know, you want to make sure things don't rattle loose. You want to know what your torque specs are, and you can do that with this. Yeah, let's say you bought a bike used. Yep. You get online and find all the torque specs, right? Everything's online. Yeah. Everything's. And like most bikers, we want to customize our bikes. You want to put on chrome and parts. You look at the torque specs. You want to make sure they're on there and they're not falling off. Yeah, or it's easy to, to mess up some new chrome, right? You can mess it up. You can strip out bolts do a lot of damage without torquing it down. Wow, okay sneakers, so you've shown us how this works and how how the pop lock is just really, really universal on just about everything you would need, right? Pretty much, I mean, you can go from motorcycles to cars to brakes to trucking equipment. I, I have two other counterparts, um, both been turning wrenches for 30 plus years. I've never seen anything like this. Neither have I. I've been working on vehicles for 25 years. Never seen anything like this, a torque socket, which you can literally throw on the top of your toolbox and grab it anytime you want. For a fleet type uh, mechanic job, why is it so important that you have a torque wrench? You know, when you're working with a fleet of equipment, everything has to be torqued. You're dealing with huge legalities if something's not done properly. You know, you're talking oil pan bolts, drain plugs, wheels, lugs, brakes. The, the cost of not torquing something properly for that company is extremely significant. And our job, we have to torque every single bolt that we touch. So will that be your go-to torque? Uh, this is going to be sitting on the top of my toolbox. My other one's, unfortunately, probably going to be collecting dust. Uh, very expensive dust because those wrenches are a lot of money. Yep. But this is something I can use at my job every single day, dozens of times a day. Some of the torque wrenches that you use uh, on a daily basis have to be recalibrated every year. How much is that recalibration? Every year we, we recalibrate every single torque wrench. You're talking three to four hundred dollars depending on the size of the torque wrench, uh, left or right hand torque you know, it could go five, six hundred dollars. And the cost of those torque wrenches? Ours, you're going anywhere from five hundred to twelve hundred a piece. Wow, that's I've crazy. got four of them myself, so I've got over five thousand dollars in torque wrenches sitting in my toolbox. Will you use that and those, or will you use that mainly? I could use this 98 percent of the time. Dealing with a fleet, sometimes you're talking 7,800 foot-pounds. That's a little more than what we can do with this. Yeah. But 98.8% .8 of the time, I can use this instead of going into my toolbox and pulling out a three-foot-long torque wrench. Wow. That necessarily doesn't always fit in the spot that you need it to. This piece of equipment is very small, 
it works. Yeah, you can make it fit with different size bars, yeah. right? Yeah, you can use uh, adapters, swivels. You can put it down in a spot two feet below that you really can't see. And mm. with the features of the lights and the, the beeping, beep, yeah. it tells you exactly where it is. See, that, that to me is really cool because you get that, you get that uh, beeping, you get the, the hear, you get to hear the click, obviously, which any yeah. torque wrench does that. But the beeping of that right there, kind of is a big deal. Yeah, yeah it, it does uh, an intermediate beeping and then it goes to solid when it hits right on. Yeah. This way you know when you're getting up to that torque, which it does starts that within five uh, foot pounds or five inch pounds oh. of that torque. So it <laughs> gives it. you a heads up, you're almost there. In talking to the uh, owner of SBV, he told me that it was over over a year just in the uh, making of this uh, torque, what do you call it? Torque socket. So, uh, and he said that he put a lot of time, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears in it. And it looks like he's come up with something that's pretty, pretty damn cool. It's a wonderful tool for your fleet maintenance, your certified ASC certified mechanic or your backyard mechanic that wants to do brake jobs and small jobs. Yeah, home. let's talk about that for a quick. We talked about the fleet people. Uh, we have a little adapter here. Tell us what that does. That's just a three eighths to quarter inch adapter, depending on what size sockets you're using. Exactly. So you can switch around depending on what you are there, what you have, what you have, and what, you know, yep. what maybe what you need. Uh, it comes with this great little hard box, which I'm not sure you'll need because you're going to put this in a and a little nice little safe place in probably inside of your toolbox. I don't know. You may want to keep it in that because it's digital and might you know yep. you could be uh, keep it safe. But let's talk about the uh, the everyday dude, the every day garage kind of uh, guy. Why would someone like that need this for something like this? If you know you're working on a valve cover at home, you got an oil leak, you want to torque it down, or if you're replacing a serpentine belt. It needs an idle, a pulley, maybe a tensioner. Or just if you're doing a common brake job. Most people understand that if you over tighten just your wheels, you're gonna yeah. warp your rotors. You wanna torque down your wheels. You wanna make sure your wife gets down the road safely and it don't fall off. Yeah. You wanna torque down the calipers. You know, your basic mechanic that sits home is gonna love to have this. Yeah, especially for the price. We've talked a little bit about yeah. the price. The price yeah. kind of surprises both. I'm not gonna tell you here, uh, I'm going to let you go to the website. I'm going to put the website right here. Check out the website and uh, you're going to find out the price of this. But it surprised even me. But that's basically it. Thank you guys for checking us out. Uh, remember that uh, it's called Pop Lock and it's uh, by SBV. And uh, overall, uh, I think the, the thing that I'm going to stick with in this is would you put it in your toolbox? And uh, my mechanic, my mechanic says he. Uh, I'm keeping this one. Just keeping that one. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more cool videos. <laughs>